Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindo Mubarak and in this movie I'm going to show you how you can set up your environment for Flutter mobile application development. So what we're going to do, we're going to install, download and install Visual Studio Code and secondly we're going to download uh, that SDK and set it up on the command line. Those are two main things that we're going to do. And we'll also make sure that that SD, SDK is running on what? On our computer. So I hope you're ready to do that with me. If you are, then let's get started. So in the very first place, of course, you have to come to Google search engine. As you can see, I'm already on the home page of Google. And then I'll type there, uh, download VS code. So when I do that, uh, I'll get this link, download Visual Studio Code, okay? So I'll go ahead and click on that, download Visual Studio Code on the first link. So to load and bring for me uh, this page. So the next thing is to choose uh, the version that I want to download for the operating system. If I'm using Windows, I'll go for Windows. If I use uh, Ubuntu, I'll go for one of these ones. If I use Mac, I'll go for Mac. So I am using Windows at this moment. So I'll go ahead and click on Windows. So I click there. So to process and bring for me uh, where I can install or I can download uh, the Windows version of uh, uh, the, the, the Visual Studio for Windows version. So I'll be taken here and uh, you can see it has started downloading straight for uh, straight forward. It, to, to automatically start downloading so since i already have it i'll just simply say keep so it can start downloading so there it will start downloading the vs code so i already have vs code in my computer so i may not need to download it again but if you don't have it then you'll wait for it to finish downloading so what i'll do i'll stop it but for you just wait for it to finish downloading then later you right click on it and then say open what i mean uh, open in what in a uh, file manager show show in folder you click here show in folder then we'll be able to get it where it is in folder so for me i'm going to go where it is uh, in my folder vs code is already here for my case vs code is already here so what i'm going to do i'm going to install it okay so to install it i just simply right click on it and say run as administrator or I just click on open one of the two so it will give me a confirmation a dialog box I say yes and then the remaining steps are really simple you just click next 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 say okay I accept click next click next click next like that if you want a shortcut on desktop you just simply click there then click next uh, click next and then to start installing so there it is installing. I uh, will wait for a minute as it installs. So it is installing. I would have paused the video. So it is done with installing. So if I want to launch it, I just simply say finish. And then this VS code uh, will do what? Will open in uh, my computer. So you can see. That is Visual Studio Code. It has been downloaded. So I can go ahead if I want to access it simply. I just simply come here on bottom and right click on it and say pin. Pin. So it means that it will always be here. When I want it, I just come and click here. I'll get the VS Code. Uh, so that's it. I already have the VS Code. Okay. Oh, and it will also be on desktop. I can simply double click on it and it will open. Or oh, I can simply come here to start start and then i just type code to be able to do it open vs code i'll be able to get it here so that is how you install vs code simply go to google search vs code download and then click accept and then click next 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 until it is fully installed so that's how you download vs code so the next step is to install uh, that programming language or that sdk to do that uh, we simply come to the google chrome to our browser just go come to google.com and then 
on home page of google you type in download that sdk is right you see that download that sdk then press enter so there you just say click on get that here see the first option here get that click on it uh, then you will be taken to this page uh, what you're going to do I uh, can see here there is that for Windows Linux and Mac OS but for you what you need to do is just to click here this one okay downloading the SDK let me zoom so I can see clearly <laughs> Is it this one? I don't want you to give reasons. Excuse that you never saw it. Oh, I have zoomed too much now. Okay. This one. This one here. Downloading the SDK as zip. Downloading the SDK as zip. Click on that. Okay. So it is going to download. Okay. So we'll take you here and to process. And in within seconds. Uh, sorry sorry to take you here you select your operating system my operating system is windows everything is already selected so my task is just to click on this one you see downloads here can you see this one that sdk click on that then to process and then there it will be able to download my internet connection is so slow right now see it has started downloading but i also have it so i don't need it at this moment so i'll close it so for you you'll have to wait for until it is done downloading okay you have to wait until it's done downloading when it finishes downloading i right click on it and then say show in folder and follow the steps that i'm going to show you okay wait until it finishes but for me i already have it on my machine so i'm going to go where it is uh, it is here in softwares and uh, the, here it is this is what you'll get you'll get something like this so this is what you do uh, you unzip it you unzip it so right click and then come to unzip extract all click on extract all okay but for me i already have this one that will do it faster but if you don't have seven zip just click on extract all then it will unzip okay so if i'm just unzipping like that so here it is you see so if you're not in your bundles, you have so many folders that are confusing. But uh, the main point here, what you get out of this zip, what you get, you get this one. That is DK. That is DK. This folder. You get it? So if you have so many folders, they will confuse But we should look for this one. This is the result. So cut it or copy it. So I'm going to cut it. And then come to this PC. Come to this PC. Come to disk C. And then paste it there can paste on top you can paste anywhere so i'm going to paste it here on top okay you see it is here that sdk i hope you can see that that sdk so after doing that uh, that is not enough for example if you open our command prompt our command line and say cmd and run that it will not work okay so the remaining thing that we have to do we have to add it in what in a uh, path okay we have to add it in path so to add this that in path what you do you double click i mean you open this folder where you've installed that here i click on it and then i come where there is bin here here in bin double click open it then come here on top here where there is address here can you see this place select it all and copy it okay right click and copy so you, sell, you just set you check you, you copy the path of bin i'll repeat it come to where you to this computer see paste there your 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 dat sdk and then open it come to bin and then after opening bin copy this path okay this one after doing that then open the start and type the word environment just write inf okay when you write inf you'll get you'll see these such results okay in edit system environment okay so you click on edit system environment and then you click here on environment here on environment and then click on path okay path i hope you can see it here click on path and then add the other and click on new and then add the other path that you copied 
here the path of that paste it there okay click ok again come here where there is path here on bottom here here okay double click and then click on new and paste it okay so we have pasted it in two places and say okay and say okay so and say okay and then uh, try to see if that has installed so to see if that has installed just come to start and write cmd here you're opening the command prompt so open it here it is and type the word dat if you type the word dat and you see these search results i mean you see something like this then it is beautiful you have successfully installed that in your soft, in your in your computer so let us test and see if that ca file can run so i can come here on desktop and uh, i'm going to create my folder i can say uh, programming there okay and i'll open it and i'm going to open it in what in vs code so i'll come here on vs code let me first close things that were already there okay so this is my vs code eh? it's my vs code so i'll drag and drop this programming folder to it drag and drop uh oh it's not allowing drag and drop <laughs> click here drag and drop no okay it's not allowing it it's okay so just simply click here on folder can you see open folder open folder click there and then come to desktop where you put your folder of course mine's in pro on desktop and double click here I see on programming i open this folder on pro which is called programming and then click select folder then to be able to open that is another way how you can open a folder so this is our folder and i've just opened it here so i can put in full screen and there is nothing there so i'll just simply create the new file right click and say new file and then say maybe one test dot that okay i hope you can see that can you see that can you see i just named it as one test dot that okay so this extension is very important so if i come and open this programming folder i should at least have there that file can you see it is there one test dot that um then i'll open we can name it anything but not complicated just simple thing uh so there we go i'm going to now run this file but before i run it let me first um do what right here some code so we're going to be void uh, main and then put um, uh, print uh, good morning good morning come at last put semicolon so I save so I want to run this I want to run this right I want to run it so to run it i'll just simply and click here on terminal click on terminal and say new terminal and then it will bring for me this okay so i can clear any everything by just simply typing cls and then i'm going to run this file so you can see the folder that we are in is this folder that we just opened the programming folder so mean that all my files are in this folder so i can just simply write that and then say dot I mean sorry it is uh, the name of the file one underscore the name of the file i just press enter so i can see good morning see good morning has been written just duplicate this good morning so if i save i come and run it again by just pressing the arrow key that points up see good morning it has run successfully that's so beautiful uh but one more thing our code is not uh, uh colored well organized so to help to get the color helper and the suggestions you have to install the dot uh the dot what the dot in that sdk the dot uh extension so to install the dot extension simply come to that to extensions here and type in the word dot okay type in dot and press enter and then after doing that to load uh, that and then uh, it is ready there uh, I'll click on the second one I think so that will help me to visualize things properly so install these two this one and this one this one and this one make sure I install 
So when you install them, they'll help you to do what? To organize your code as well as suggestions. The first one and the third one. Okay. So they are installing. Uh, it, it is done. Eh? It is done, I think. So if I come back here to my files here, uh, when I restart this one, it will be able to color my code and make it organized. Uh, but even at this moment, it can still run. So there are steps that we follow when you're setting up the environment of that programming language. First step, install, uh, download VS Code. Second step, install VS Code. Third step, download that programming language. Fourth step, uh, copy it in C and uh, copy the path and add them in environment. That is how we install that. If you find challenges, find my number, my WhatsApp number in the description of this video and contact me. I'll be able to help you. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and, th and see you in the next video.